What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a couple new things that went on the Tacoma and we're going to show you guys them things. Um, so in the past couple videos you guys saw that we did some uh, organization mods to the Tacoma and the Forerunner. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that go check it out. But we decided to change up a couple things on the roof rack and so in the past, we have ran the Pelican um, 1750 and the 1720 um, cases on top, um, and we loved them. We were able to run two of them, and we were able to separate like our recovery gear and our camping gear that we store on top, and it was really cool, um, and it was super light, and it really worked out. But um, we recently got these new uh, Rome adventure uh, cases that we wanted to try out um, and the reason is that it's it looks super cool um, it's super rugged um, and it has a molly and a pouch option for the lid which is super cool so uh, enough talking let's show you guys what I'm talking about all right so here it is right on top here this is the slate gray color um, to match the gray obviously but uh, yeah it looks super good um, and back here is a water port which we'll talk about later but this here is the Rome case as you could tell it looks pretty cool it looks pretty tough it does have three latches and uh, they're pretty pretty nice slashes too and they feel good um, and that's a big thing because there are some cases that um, they feel cheap and you can feel it in the latches but these ones feel really really good um, and here's a front profile so we have the up top overland roof rack with um, the front wind fairing cut out to fit these Baja Designs um, LP4s um, Just because I know some of you guys are going to ask about it But uh, this rack here is 50 inches wide from end to end But this box is 51 inches wide so You can see here there's about half an inch of overhang on each side but being that I do have the alpha roof rack and not the Bravo um, it doesn't hang out past the second plate so um, that's cool even if you had the Bravo um, having it overhang half an inch is not a big deal um, and the reason why I have it this way instead of front to back is because of my big tent so I run a CVT mount hood um, I also have a uh, sky camp um, made by iCamper that also sticks out just as much so I'm not able to run it back to front or front to back um, or else it would fit perfectly just fine but um, in here cool thing I like about these is that they do come with struts so they were kind of made to go on the top of a roof um, or on your bed or wherever you want to put it and then this piece here is really really cool this is the interior molly panel for the uh, lid um, and you can tell already we put some recovery stuff on there just to get it off here because those things move all over the place especially when we are off-road and you, it's just super annoying um, driving and hearing all that stuff so in here got some camping stuff over here um, a couple hammocks and recovery stuff is on the driver's side that way I can just hop out and grab the recovery gear use it and then put it back um, but uh, that's that there is also a pouch version for the lid um, and what I mean by pouch is that instead of these uh, molly holes there's actually pouches that you I think have velcro on them and you can just put stuff in there and close it that way you don't have to use um, like velcro uh, strips to attach whatever you want to attach onto this lid 
However, I do like the Molly panel um, a little bit more just because you can see where everything's at versus the bag. Um, this thing will be full with pouches and then if you don't remember where everything's at, you kind of have to label it or open each bag and find what you're looking for. So yeah, that's why I chose the Molly panel. But yeah, this is the main difference between the Pelican and the Rome is the strut. And some of you know I did put struts on my Pelican so it does the exact same thing. But having this extra Molly panel on top is super cool. Um, let's see, besides that, this case is heavier than uh, my Pelican 1720 and 1750, um, even without all the stuff in it. Um, but it is more, I guess, rugged, thicker. Um, but you guys know, Pelican is known for having super tough cases. Um, the army uses them and everybody uses them, you know, so yeah. But this is cool. Um, so that's that. I kind of wish I could run it front to back. Um, that way I can have two. But uh, this works too. You know, I can still reach all three latches and it, it grabs onto the top, clips in super nice. And you can also put a lock, which I will probably do, at least to two outer sides. Um, that way, you know, nobody can really get in there and take my stuff. But I generally park in the garage anyway, so that's why none of my stuff is uh, is locked. Um, so that's that. And I'll show you guys the different color options later. Um, there's black, slate gray, OD green, which is cool, um, and I think tan. And this thing right here is the water port. This is the long version of it. That way you can hold a bunch of water. And a couple of the fittings over here for uh, pressurizing it. So this is a Schrader valve, you twist this cap off, and then you can pressurize it. And this is the uh, pressure relief valve, so you can't over pressurize it, or else that would just leak um, until it gets to the correct pressure that it has inside. So that's pretty smart. And then this is obviously um, for filling it up. So that's that. Um, and I think we filled it up yesterday. Yeah, it's, it's full. Um, so we're going on a camping trip today, actually. Um, we're going, uh, with a bunch of our team and a couple friends. So we got this thing filled up and we're pretty much ready to go. Um, but, uh, since we are on the topic of just showing you guys all the stuff here, um, we have a 270 awning, which I believe just got in stock. So if you guys want to check that out, this thing is super rad. Instead of just this thing coming straight out and just having shade directly above it or underneath it, um, this thing swings out all the way to the back. So you have shade here all the way to here. So, um, yeah, and this thing is a lot more affordable than you actually think um comparing it to like the the bat wing so yeah check this out if you guys love having shade um if you guys have a regular awning already definitely try this out you you never go back so yeah one thing i did forget to mention is the size of this one this is the 83 liter um size so it's low profile as you could tell here, it's probably lower than my tent, which it is. And so that way everything stays super low, which I like. Um, I did have the Pelican Cargo before, which I really, really liked. But um, same thing, or not same thing, but it was just too tall and it was taller than both my eye camper and my um, cvt mount hood so i didn't really like the look i love that you can mount it without drilling through your case which you do have to do with this case too 
but um, it was just too tall. So when Pelican changes that or makes another model that is, you know, probably as tall as this, I will probably take a look at that one too. Um, just because I do love Pelican products, but uh, this Rome case is pretty bad at stuff. So this is completely off topic, but I do want to show you guys this new Pelican um, cooler that we recently got. So we have the um, 45 and the 80 um, uh, Pelican coolers on order. So we'll show you guys that later, but this thing is pretty sweet. So it has this top lid. We can keep dry stuff like your phone. It has two um, holders for your drinks. And then inside has this top pouch. You can put your whatever you want up there. Um, and then we got these Pelican ice case. And this top tray, you can put whatever you want. And then drinks are underneath. So pretty cool. You can put dry stuff up here like sandwiches or whatever. Um, or what I do is I just keep these ice um, packs here so that way um, everything underneath it stays cool. And my favorite part about um, Pelican's quality build is, check this out. Their latch system and everything is like perfectly fine tuned so everything latches on super nicely and there's a bottle opener right there and I just love that that click everything about it so pretty cool super off topic um, but yeah since we're going on a camping trip wanted to show you guys that new thing there but now let's go show you guys the uh, the other Rome case colors all right so we got a couple boxes there we're gonna show you guys this one is the 83 that's on my truck that you guys just saw um, this is the OD green one pretty cool color a lot of people like that one um, and then next to it you guys can tell these ones are taller this one is the 95 so a lot taller um, probably not as slim or lower profile than the tent for sure but there's the black we don't have any of the tans just because um, we're kind of not a big fan of the tan but some people are um, but uh, yeah so we got the black OD green these are the 95s and then these are the ones that we think fit the Tacoma really well just because how low profile it is um, but yeah all right guys that is pretty much it for this video um if you guys have any questions let us know but we just wanted to show you guys the new setup on the tacoma um the cool box that we just put on there and the water port that we're going to be using this weekend uh, we'll probably make a video of our camping trip this weekend if you guys want to check that out um probably next week sometime uh, but yeah we'll see you guys in the next video peace